Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to copy a formula in Excel without changing cell references. One of the great things about creating formulas in Excel is that you can use cell references instead of actual values. If I want to multiply two numbers instead of using the numbers themselves, I can use the address of the cell in which the number is stored. This makes the formula very dynamic and I can then copy it down a column or across the row and the cell reference will change uh, accordingly. Now there may be a case where I don't want the cell reference to change because the formula is referring to a single or a constant cell. In this example, I have the price and I have a percentage increase and I want to calculate the new price with the increase. So to do that, I will select the price I'm just building the formula and I want to add the increase, which is the percentage multiplied by the price. And so I created the formula and pressed enter. Now, if I copy the formula down the column in the way it is, then since the, of course, the column remains the same, but the row numbers will change. So in this case, I don't want cell C2 to change because that refers, that has to be constant and this value has to be applied across all the rows. So to do that, in the formula bar, I select the cell reference and press F4. This adds two dollar signs, one to the column and one to the row, and indicates that this value must not change. So when this is done, I can then drag the formula down using the fill handle. And as you can see, the row number changes for the other values, which is the price, but the reference for the uh, percentage increase, which is cell C2, remains constant. So this is how to copy a formula in Excel without changing cell references. Please read the appended article for further guidance.